What up, family? Boosie. Boo pop. Boosie bad ass. Man, it's something every other week dealing with Boosie. And a lot and, and, and a lot of the problem is dealing with, you know, the feds, the people, you know, that you know, we know that they've been trying to stick it to Boosie. Like they've been trying to stick it to the rest of these artists. But it seems that Boosie got a hell of a team around him and he ain't moving as reckless as people think. And by him not moving as reckless as people want him to and as people think, the people will try to put it on you, fam. You know what I'm saying? They, they'll force charges on you like thug when they get tired of it. Even though you might go in and beat them or whatever. But they'll force them charges on you. Now, we know Boosie been fighting. Gun charges. And we've seen the ups and downs dealing with this. We seen Boosie. I mean, they was watching then when Boosie was doing a verse for some individuals pulled up in they hood or whatever. And the, 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 the helicopter was, was watching them. They were seeing Boosie had a strap on them. And it all stemmed from that. And they got pulled over after then, right? So that's a clear indication. That they watching you. You feel me? It's all about the head. And they know the head is Boosie. And at the same time, before we get into details, Boosie got to come from a praying family. It make a difference. Boosie come from a praying, praying mother. It make a difference. So a lot of our survival in the streets be based off the prayers on the people that's love us. And especially if they got a deep relationship with God. Now, fast forward, fam. Boosie just went on his live. They trying to charge Boosie now with gun trafficking. They subpoenaing people that's friends of his son, Tootie Raw. So he's trying to get them on statements to say different things that Boosie, they going deep into his kid's friend to try to uh, put some charges on Boosie as far as gun trafficking. Now Boosie is saying that this judge is racist. The judge got it out for him. You know what I'm saying? The prosecutor's racist and the prosecutor got it out for him. He was also speaking on his live that the feds is, you know, something else when you were real. You know, he said it's hard on the real rappers because the feds is playing with them like they do. Now, Boosie also cussed out the prosecutor, you know, in the process of this live. I want you to understand that I, I, I mean, when it comes to the system, you can get in your emotions, you can say different things, and it'll cost you. That's why they tell you is, you know, it's best to stay quiet. Your lawyers will tell you. I manage his lawyer and hit him, hey, you can't be saying that and doing these different because you're putting a black eye on you. If you're going to fight, fight with the paperwork. You know what I'm saying? With your lawyers and what you got going on. People is taking this social media too easy. Thinking that the people that's watching them is just they followers of hip hop and rap, but the whole time you got hip hop cops on them. They reporting to these people what you say and what you post. I don't think it was a good idea, but I understand Boosie because you can tell your family they doing too much. They got it out for them. But Boosie cannot go on social media speaking on the man that got it out for you, the prosecutor. I mean, them folks are all the system, fam. They work together. This is the same thing that's going on with C-Murder that I'm talking about. C-Murder fighting to come home, but at the same time going against the grain and having hunger strikes, causing uproars in, in different prisons and things like that. they saying he's the face of it. So you can't pull and, and go like this when you're trying to come home and get through a situation like Boosie. You got to lay back on it. Let God talk. Let the paperwork talk, fam. You feel me? Because by you talking and saying different words, it's only uh, uh, crucifying your, your case, making it worse than what it is. Do they got it out for rappers right now? Man, I'm telling you, they do. It, I mean, if you can't see that, you're blind. Every other week, they locking up a different rapper. 
Matter of fact, it just ain't the underlink rappers no more. They like locking up the rappers that got names, that, that really been out here with longevity doing it, trying to show the other people that, hey, we're not playing if you get above yourself. We don't care who you is. P. Diddy, anybody, you get above yourself, we're going to bring you back down, fam. The slave platform is still here. It's just in different effects. You got to understand this. I don't care if you got a million billions of dollars. You still up under that cloud. <laughs> you feel me? It's as clear as day. A lot of these artists get to get in that bag, get to get in the millions of dollars, fam, and they go to their head on um, who they are. You know what I'm saying? They get to thinking that they gods, fam, and want to fight the system in ways that you can't fight them. That's just what it is. We know a lot of times your money do not work. <laughs> If they got it out for you, I don't want them to have it out for Boosie. I mean, they got it out for Boosie, but I don't want him to get caught up speaking on different situations. Just fight it on now, fam. Because he just said now, Boosie about to have another child. Who would want to see that happen to go lay down? And one might be saying, well, uh, Boosie don't care about us. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Like, he don't care if we go to jail. He don't care nothing about our kids. He just getting a bag and leave and doing what he need to do for his family. That's some truth. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's some truth. But at the same time, I'm seeing that we grow close to artists that, you know, we connected to them. I cried when Dolph passed. I didn't think I would, but I literally was in tears, man. Because we be connected through the artists through his music, we can relate to him. We all come from the struggle, coming from the hood. So I understand that most of these artists do not care about the community themselves. We care more about the artists than they care about us. And it's a shame because if it wasn't for the fans and the people, the artists wouldn't be where they was, where they is. You do not go on no social media. If you got a problem, with the prosecutors, whatever the case, man, talk to your lawyers and keep that to yourself, family. Because this is the individual that's going to be prosecuting your case. It's a time and place for everything, homie. Boosie act like he asking for it. <laughs> I don't know what his lawyers tell him. Are we going to do it? A lot of times, your lawyers can tell you things and it can go totally different from what they saying. You understand? They kind of get your money and keep you in good graces on situations, but I know for a fact, when it comes to them having it out for, for you, you don't troll the situation because you're just making the situation worse. I know Boosie fans, Boosie family, all the way around, don't nobody want to see Boosie go through what he's been through before. He done been through enough. So I'm saying at the end of the day, it's time to Wake up when it comes to these OG legendary rappers because they got it out for y'all, fam. Let the YGs go ahead and crash out and do it like they're going to do it. But shit, we too old to be going to jail doing prison time now. I know I'm 40, Boosie about 42. You feel what I'm saying? Like nobody got time to be playing no more on that level, but I will keep y'all updated on situations. But make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'm out.